Matthew, Florida was your top choice for the sign and trade. By the way, first ever sign and trade in the NHL. Obviously, the weather and taxes are pluses, but what other factors made you want to go there so bad, Florida? I think in the position I was in, I just wanted to win now and in the future, like number one. And the core here is all a similar age, so we're going to be together for a while. and We're having success right now. I think we should be having way more than we have been. We haven't been getting the results, but I think we have. I know Witt disagrees. But we have a really good team yes. down there. I saw that uh, shit the other day. This guy's hey, a clown. Uh, he's hey. the new clown of the podcast. I took off the nose and gave it to him. <laughs> no, no, no. Trust me. Biz's nose hasn't gone anywhere. We could tell by looking at him. That clown nose will be there forever. <laughs> no, but like even coming down here, like before training camp, the amount of skill and speed and talent that's down here is unbelievable. And we're going to be together for a long, long time. So. Um, that's what intrigued me the most, just having that core together for a while, having a chance every year. Um, and let's be honest, boys, it's the best place in the NHL to live. Not even close either. Like, have, you, I, have, I, you, have you gotten a sports car yet? No, I'm not. I'm not into that stuff. I'm not. I'm not flash. Like, I, I guess the one thing I did get was a golf cart that I basically drive yes. everywhere. Yes. So it's uh, it, it's a it's a nice one that uh, it's basically my car. I take it everywhere except for the rink. The rink's like twenty minutes away. So um, it's just the whole lifestyle. Everyone's so happy. Everybody wants to come visit me. Like I've got lots of people that couldn't come as much when I was in Calgary, which has been really nice so far. And I mean, and I wear sandals every day. It's not it's uh, not terrible. Have, have they? announced when it'll be ready aren't they building like this unreal new prax facility right in lauderdale yeah so it's it's like a mile from my my place oh. that i bought but they don't and we're doing everything there other than the game so like even pregame skates like that's going to be where everything's at so it's going to be easy for me but it was supposed to be ready this year and just everything's been backed up with ordering stuff from like other countries or i, I really don't even know what the the problem is so now it's supposed to be ready in march which probably means we'll have to wait till next year, but it'll be sick. Any golf cart gangs going on with Yans down there? Yans lives a little too far from me where, uh, yeah, for us to like be riding together and being, you know, the old neighborhood watch crew together on the golf carts. But I've <laughs> seen him a bunch. He's, he's been like one of the guys that's helped me out the most, like off ice with stuff and um, all the players and, and staff absolutely love it. I actually heard the funniest story about him the other day. I oh, guess here we go. No, like and I've hung out with him a ton while I've, I've been down there. I've golfed with him a bunch, but the trainers just absolutely love him to death. And uh, the equipment guys were telling me that before every game, the last couple of years of his career, he would look at the stat sheet before and go to say, go to Arizona and he'd find out the least amount of games a player had on that team and ask them for a stick. And the kid would be like, why does he want my stick? And he'd be like, well, can he give me one back? And Yans would be like, I don't sign on game days. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. Imagine just <laughs> the youngest guy on every team just getting like, punked by yo, Yans. Hey, hey, Two now, games I, in. now I know why Danny Heatley asked for one of my signed sticks because I was the butt <laughs> of his fucking joke when he was in San Jose. Peter did? <laughs> Heater asked for one of my sticks. I'm like, and, oh. and then he probably made up some excuse at the time. I'm like, why the fuck is Dandy Heatley asked me for a stick? So I got hook, line, and sicker with that too. They're laughing about me in their group chat right now. <laughs> my favorite part though is like when they asked him for one back. He goes, nah, I just I don't sign on game days. <laughs> oh, it's unbelievable. That is too good.